good morning this class we are going to discuss about problems in queuing theory problems in queuing theory in particularly model 3 in particularly model 3 model 3 in the sense so this is nothing but m bar m bar 1 single channel 1 stands for single channel finite arrival k finite arrival first in first out first in first out finite arrival ok so this is most important this is finite arrival this is single channel ok so here I am going to take row is equal to graphic intensity is equal to simply lambda by mu simply lambda by mu without any restriction lambda may be less than mu or mu less than uh, may be less than lambda okay so then we are uh, um, going to look into two cases lambda is less than mu or greater than mu uh, simply you can say that lambda is not equal to mu or lambda is equal to mu okay then ls length of the system so length of the system you know that the number of uh, customers are in the queue plus number of customers are in the system, uh, service so ls is equal to rho divided by 1 minus rho minus k plus 1 into rho power k plus 1 divided by 1 minus rho power k plus 1 this is ls lq is equal to lq is equal to ls minus lambda dash by mu lambda dash by mu where what is lambda dash lambda dash is nothing but effective arrival rate effective arrival rate so therefore lambda dash also can be written as mu times of 1 minus p naught or otherwise we can take lambda times of 1 minus pn lambda times of 1 minus pn ok so here is the only difference so instead of lambda I am going to take lambda dash lambda dash is nothing but effective rate of arrival effective rate of arrival so this is nothing but lambda dash so similarly I can write ls, LS lq and ws is equal to ls by lambda dash wq is equal to wq is equal to lq by lambda dash lq by lambda dash so these four for, uh, formulas are called little formula and lambda dash is called effective arrival rate ok then then p naught and p n p naught is equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power k plus 1 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus k power uh, 1 minus rho power k plus 1 if lambda is not equal to mu if lambda is not equal to mu uh, similarly 1 by simply k plus 1 if lambda is equal to mu lambda is equal to mu ok so similarly I can write pn is equal to rho power n into p naught if if similarly lambda is not equal to mu here also 1 divided by k plus 1 so therefore here if lambda is equal to mu if lambda is equal to mu so therefore we have uh, similarly we have so here lambda dash effective rate of uh, arrival then ws then wq then ls then lq so then p naught similarly we can write p naught again pn ok so therefore in uh, model 3 we have to see all those things ok so then we will see the example we will see the example example <coughs> patience patients array at a clinic 
according to according to Poisson distribution at the rate of at the rate of 30 patients at the rate of 30 patients per hour okay so the waiting room the waiting room does not accommodate the waiting room does not accommodate more than 14 patients more than 14 patients okay the examination time the examination time the examination time for each patient is exponential is exponential with the mean rate of rate of 20 30 uh, 20 patients 20 patients per hour 20 patients per hour okay then find number one is effective rate of arrival find the effective rate of arrival number two is find the probability that find the probability that the arriving customer the patient the arriving patient will not wait the arriving, the arriving patient will not wait okay third question is find the waiting time of a customer average waiting time of a customer average waiting time of a patient till until 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 uh, the patient is discharged from the clinic until until the patient is discharged from the clinic from the clinic from the clinic okay so this is the question so we have to look into very carefully patients arrive at a clinic according to poison distribution it is a poison arrival definitely but the waiting room does not accommodate more than 14 patients so therefore arrival is restricted arrival is restricted because we don't have a room to accommodate more than 14 persons so therefore 14 persons are in the 14 or 14 patients are in the room one person in the service that means in the doctor um, okay so then therefore uh, most maximum 15 patients only allowed so therefore this is a finite arrival this problem comes under finite arrival so therefore it is uh, only one doctor so therefore it is a, a single channel so therefore this problem comes under single channel finite arrival single channel finite arrival and the <coughs> uh, 30 uh, arrival uh, given that arrival lambda is equal to 30 and mu is also 20 lambda is given mu is given 
the number of uh, arrival is also given finite arrival is also given so therefore we can write so this comes under model 3 this comes under model 3 so then we will see one by one okay so therefore solution solution so this is the model m bar m bar 1 and finite arrival that is k first in first out so k is also given k is equal to 14 persons are waiting 1 persons in the service therefore k is equal to 15 so here lambda is equal to 30 mu is equal to 20 ok so therefore here rho is equal to lambda by mu so this is equal to 30 by 20 so this is equal to 1.5 this is equal to 1.5 ok so then k is also given so effective rate of arrival lambda dash we have to find out effective rate of arrival that is lambda dash lambda dash is equal to lambda dash is equal to lambda mu into 1 minus p naught mu into 1 minus p naught mu into 1 minus p naught so therefore where p naught is equal to p naught is equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power k plus 1 p naught is equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power k plus 1 so this is equal to 1 minus rho is nothing but 1 minus 1.5 divided by 1 minus 1.5 divided by 1 minus 1.5 the whole power 16 the whole power 16 the whole power 16 so therefore this is equal to so 1 minus 1.5 is equal to 0 0.5 divided by uh, 1 minus 1.5 the whole power 16 which is equal to 0 0.00076 if you simplify it you will be getting that so again I am uh, making it 0 0.00 so 1 you know because of more than uh, 5 so I will take it 1 so therefore P0 is equal to 0 0.001 okay so now what I am so therefore what is the <coughs> effective rate of arrival what is the effective rate of arrival? Effective rate of arrival is equal to lambda dash is equal to lambda dash is equal to mu mu is equal to mu is equal to much 20. So therefore 20 into 20 into 1 minus p naught p naught is equal to 0 0.001. So again this is equal to 20 into uh, 0 0.999 okay etc so therefore this becomes so therefore this is equal to 19.99 and all so therefore again approximately 20 therefore again approximately 20 so therefore the effective rate of arrival is equal to 20 so therefore lambda dash is equal to 20 so therefore lambda dash is equal to 20 the first question answer for the first question is 20 The second question is the second question is find the probability that the arriving patient will not wait. When the patient will not wait, when the patient will not wait, suppose the Q are empty, suppose the Q are empty, or the no, no, no persons uh, the no persons are in the queue. So therefore, if no persons are in the queue or the queues are empty, then only the patient will not wait. So therefore, second question is nothing but simply I can calculate P naught. P naught is nothing but probability that probability that no persons, no customers, no customers are in the queue. No customers 
or in the q okay so therefore p not is equal to probability so therefore i can write p not is equal to p not is equal to uh, already we know that what is p not we have for now now only we have find out so therefore 0. Point, uh, 0, 0, 0.001 therefore 0.001 .001. so this is the answer for the uh, question number 2 question number 3 is average waiting time of a patient average waiting time of a patient until the patient is discharged from the clinic so therefore the waiting time plus service time so therefore what they are asking in question number is ws what they are asking ws because waiting time plus service time therefore ws ws is equal to ws is equal to ls divided by ws is equal to ls divided by lambda dash divided by lambda dash where ls is equal to rho divided by 1 minus rho minus 1 minus that is k plus 1 into rho power k plus 1 into rho power k plus 1 divided by 1 minus rho power k plus 1 divided by 1 minus rho power k plus 1 so this is equal to rho is 1.5 divided by 1 minus rho 1 minus 0 0.5 1 minus 1.5 sorry 1 minus 1.5 minus k plus 1 is 16 times of 1.5 minus power 16 whole divided by 1 minus 1.5 whole power 16 so therefore this is equal to this is equal to 1.5 divided by minus 1.5 minus 0.5 minus 0.5 into 1.5 is equal to 3 times therefore this is equal to minus 3 so here is more than the here is bigger than 1 so therefore here is also negative here is also negative so therefore you will be getting positive after simplifying it, simplifying it you will be getting 16.02 you will be getting 16.02 so therefore this is equal to 13.02 so therefore length of the system is equal to 13.02 so therefore ws is equal to 13.02 13.02 divided by lambda dash is also 20 lambda dash is also 20 so therefore this divided by so therefore uh, <coughs> 1.302 divided by 2 1.302 divided by 2 so therefore 0. 6 0 0.6 12 10 5 therefore 0 0.651 0 0.651 so this is the the hours hours you know because of this is the waiting time of the waiting time of the uh, patient and um, till the patient is discharged okay so therefore what we have seen that what is p naught so then what will be the effective arrival rate then waiting uh, time of the customer Okay, thank you.